Welcome back to the NextGen online video tutorial. In previous videos, we went over how to capture the administration of a PPD test along with how to document a negative test result. In a separate video, we then went over how to document a positive TB test result. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and, and learn how to document a history of positive TB test results and the workflow required thereafter. So as before, we're going to go ahead and open up a new encounter for this day's visit. We're going to open up our intake template. This brings us into NextGen, which will require us to pick our specialty, family practice, and our visit type, which we'll say is a nursing visit. From there, we can go ahead and type in the reason for visit, which we'll say is the PPD test. And under the HPI comments, we're going to go ahead and say the reason why the patient is here for a PPD test and that they've admitted to a history of positive findings. So positive history of PPD tests, patient requesting chest x-ray for new job, denies any INH treatment in the past or if they have completed an INH treatment then this would be the place to document it. And now that we've done that we can come over to navigation and jump into our tuberculin skin test. The reason we want to do this is to confirm the country of origin and mainly to add in the tuberculin skin test assessment and since they have a history of being positive we want the 795.51 code. Now that we've added in our assessment, the next step is to go to this TST questionnaire. Since they have a history of being positive, we want to ask them if they've had any of these symptoms in the past year. We'll go ahead and say no to all. And then we want to see if they have documentation of a previous negative chest x-ray will say that they were negative for the chest x-ray and that it was completed two years ago which explains why they're following up for another one and most importantly hit this box here saying include the screen information in document so that now that we've completed that we can come down to plan say return to office in we'll say one week give or take. This, this could be a bit longer since the patient needs to get the chest x-ray performed, it needs to get read, and then a follow-up visit needs to be scheduled. So that's variable. But now that we've done the plan and the questionnaire, we can go ahead and say click this button TST result. And this generates our TST survey document and we can refrain from putting in anything for a PPD and adding it into our tuberculin skin test here because we're not going to do a repeat tuberculin skin test and we can worry about the chest x-ray later. So now that we've generated our TST document we can go ahead into navigation and jump right into SOAP. And the reason we come to SOAP is so we can come into my plan and highlight the assessment that we added. This assessment should pull up the customized order set for this diagnosis which allows us to order our chest x-ray and to order our patient instructions. We're going to go ahead and say we'll send the patient to the Westchester imaging site as long, along with the orders and this is also where we can schedule a follow-up visit and who that may be with is going to be pretty variable so for now we'll just say MD and then the reason to cancel out of here so that we can free text is going to be chest x-ray results INH treatment since the patient denies having any in the past and we'll say our time frame which I believe we said was one week the next step is to make these check marks disappear by hitting place order now that we've seen them disappear, we know we've captured that information so we can save and close. And then we'll come into checkout in order to do the diagnostic requisition for the chest x-ray. So we'll hit requisition. 
And every time we do a diagnostic requisition, the tab always jumps to the back, so that's something for you to know. And at the very top of our document, we want to go ahead and say where we sent this patient. And we'll say it was Westchester. We'll save the document. And then we'll refrain from signing off on it. Now that we've done that, come down to Given to Patient Verified and go ahead and select Yes next to the stuff that you gave the patient. And we can come in to finalize. What we want to do under finalize is before we submit this document to the physician, we want to go ahead and calculate our straightforward medical decision making and calculate our code then submit our code and this will generate our master IM for us. In order to see the master IM in our history pane, scroll down here and use the refresh button. Sometimes you won't actually see the master IM generate quickly enough so a way to override it and force generate it is to come to navigation preview and this will force generate the master IM. And we can see it before us and we have our HPI. And we'll go ahead and scroll down and make sure that we have our completed orders and our assessment plans intact. And once again, we'll hold off on signing the document. The reason why we don't sign, oh and then you come here to refresh in order to see the master IM appear. But the reason why we don't sign the master IM or the requisition is because we're going to go ahead and print out this requisition and then walk into the patient charting or walk into the physician charting room and have a physician sign off on this requisition. It does not have to be the patient's PCP or anything like that. It's just whoever the physician that's signed off on the diagnostic study, that's going to be the person you submit this chart to. So we'll go ahead and go to Physician Sign Off Request, Submit to Supervising Physician for Review. We'll find the physician we want. Just for example, we're going to go ahead and say Donna Gian Cristiano. Click her name, then add user, and once you select OK, it sends over the patient chart to the physician's inbox, they can review the master IM and requisition, sign it off themselves. And that will complete the workflow required for a positive history of a TB test in a patient requesting a chest x-ray. Thank you very much for your time.